Good morning. This video is for those people out there who try to set up incidences and make people look false. I spoke to a friend of mine and I told him I was going to download this certain video because I knew exactly what was going to happen to it. There's a group of people on YouTube whose sole purpose is to stir the pot. Now what I mean by stir the pot is this. You come on YouTube, you say something degrading about a group of people. You let it ride for about 15, 20 days. And when someone breaks it down and tells you the truth about yourself, you pull your video. This is a tactic done by white people, black people, black women haters, black people haters, instigators, faceless and nameless. Oh yeah, I'm going to talk about you too. You know who I'm talking about. Because you're going to see, he going to be the first bitch-ass motherfucker to jump on the video with a bullshit statement. People start off and they'll say something. And they'll have that camera on them. And they'll make a statement. They act like they stand behind their statements. And when someone brings forth truth, flatlines them. Out of cowardice, they either remove their video or change their name. Some people close pages down altogether. I'm not trying to look in the camera on this video because I'm talking to several people out there. You have the audacity to stand before us who constantly look into the camera and say what we feel. Stand behind every word, right or wrong, to the end. I don't pull no videos, but my Star Trek video got to go. But listen, you know who I'm talking to. When you make statements and you can't back them up, or you're willing to just fold up your tent and leave, this has happened several times when small people try to fuck with what's mine. Don't mess with this. This YouTube is mine. This is mine. This is for the people who out who are out there who look into the camera, say how they feel, and leave the video there. Don't put your foot in the pool if you don't plan on jumping in. Don't jump in the pool, pee, and then get out of the water. It's like farting in a room. And pointing. You come on YouTube, you say something, you speak, you block everybody's comments. You only have your comment or delete on there. You put you you wanna put forth an image, but you it's too much on you. You can't even you can't even keep up with the one video to block other people's comments because you were so wrong. Oh. It's pitiful. I wake up this morning and people ask, what are you talking about, AIX? What do, what do you mean? See, it makes when you disconnect your video, it makes people look like, look at the, what the fuck is he talking about? Whose video is he commenting on? He's just making this up. Don't make me out to be a liar, because you'll turn me into a prophet, then you'll have me speaking like this. I'm going to let you know what I could do to the minds of the American people if I was allowed to speak like this. Get ready. How?
Can you tell a group of people that you are better than them when you cannot even prove that you are good enough to stand in the shadow in which you cast upon the ground yourself? You tell people that this is your world and you've created it and you deserve to be looked up. But how can someone look up to you when you look down on everyone else? Why should someone even give a damn that you've fallen in the same hole that you have dug for everyone else? Who are you to judge someone like me and disguise yourself and your voice as someone who actually gives a damn about the human condition? You cannot tell me that I am not someone who is sent here to tell you what you have been seeing to be correct is wrong. Your own have enslaved thine mind and you control from within with the thought of divinity. You cannot tell me that I am not the real. But see, people tend to fall. People cannot understand that while on the mountaintop looking down at those who you believe are the peasants in which have to devour depend upon the kingdom in which you create. But they, the peasants themselves, see the kingdom has fallen. The snakes have taken over and destroyed. But you cannot see, because you believe you are divine. Divine in what? This is hell. Our hell is your heaven, but please, now that you slip down in the hell, you can't see how hot it is. We've been in this hell forever. We live it. We breathe it. This is us. This is what you taught us to be. And now you have to sit at the same table once again with the savages just to survive. The Indian should have let you die out there. But no. You're like a cockroach. You come back time in and time out to destroy a termite, a cancer upon thine self in the name of divine the almighty Chosen. In the name of Chosen. Destroy. Kill. Steal. Rape. For what? To squalor in the same water with the dirty Mexicans and the filthy niggers. To eat the same meals as the dirty niggas and snot and old Chinese. Walking around with the gooks and slants knowing that everybody stands at the same level. No one is beneath you. With a lower life expectancy. No will to survive. A black man can make up a word in a movie and it'd be language three months later. You can't do that. Chosen. Chosen to what? Chosen to create, dominate, and play a hate. Destroying yourself to keep yourself alive. Cutting and ripping at your own flesh to keep yourself alive. It's like watching a man drink too much and destroy his whole life. The plight of those who'd rather see us fail. The human condition ain't a joke. Don't play with those who can control. Play with those who have no control. You've been too. Fake ass YouTubers.